Well, hello there, my lovelies. Welcome back and welcome if you're new here for sure. As the seasons change and the vibrant energy of spring fills the air, join me for a delightful exploration of bringing the outdoors into my indoor space. Just the sound of those birds singing and the sight of that glorious tree up ahead is enough inspiration for me to get going and to find something creative to do. So come along with me today as I do some creative things indoors. Over here, I'm at my local store looking for simple gardening tools. I got distracted while I was there. So many nice things to look at, especially in the gardening section. Look at all the full garden plants and furniture. There's a variety. If you own a garden, I think this is the right spot for you. And look at that beautiful outdoor decor. I think the theme color is terracotta and gray blue. Makes me wish I had a garden. What a lovely garden mirror. Ah, oh, here we are. I think this is the aisle I'm looking for. Weed killer, insecticide, fertilizer, planters. Ah, here we are. I'm looking for a small shovel and some garden gloves. And the shovel is quite inexpensive. I'm quite surprised. I didn't expect them to be this cheap. I'm back home now and this is my peace lily. It's obviously been completely neglected. Look at the leaves. They have yellowed and shriveled. It's just in bad shape and I need to propagate it and report it maybe into three different pots. So here we go. Over here I'm just removing the dead bits the yellow leaves just giving it some TLC Next, I'm going to prepare the potting soil. I bought this potting soil online. I've never used it before, but it looked convenient. So let's open it up and see what to do. It's dry, it's a compact dry piece that looks like sawdust. It looks like compacted sawdust that's how it looks like the instructions are to add three liters of water and uh, it will make 10 liters of potting soil so that's what I'm doing right now I pre-measured the three liters of water it looks different now it's obviously expanded and the texture feels like compost if you know how compost feels like time to propagate this piece lily i've never done this before i just looked it up on the internet and i hope i'm doing the right thing but let's try my plant has completely overgrown the old pot so here i am just trying to prod it out of uh, the pot being as gentle as i can it took some doing but I eventually got it out there we go 
wow look at that it was completely suffocating in that pot so now I have to as gently as possible just prod the root system set it free and try to separate it into a couple of different pieces maybe two or three let's see what will happen looks like I'm making some progress there we have one and I think one more so that it makes them three pieces to propagate phew that was tough love but it had to be done <laughs> So now I have a slightly bigger pot to plant one of them and here I am just adding the old soil, a little bit of it into the pot and clearing out the root system that is in there. I kind of wish that I had got a slightly wider pot but this will have to do for now. So I'll just start adding the potting soil until it's properly packed in. This piece is not looking pretty by any means, even though I have reported it. But I know in a couple of weeks, it's going to look nice. The leaves will start growing. And I can already see the flowers. Uh, some flowers are trying to bloom out. So I'll probably give you an update of them as the weeks go by. Here we are, all three potted and ready to thrive. Peace lilies help reduce high humidity and condensation and so I will find a spot for each of them around the house. So my lovelies, spring cleaning continues because I'm doing it bit by bit. Today I was giving the living room dining area a refresh and I started by vacuuming everywhere. I would have loved to do a carpet clean as well but today I will just settle for the vacuuming. My vacuum cleaner is not the lightest nor is it the heaviest but it takes a little bit of effort so it's a bit of a workout it's so satisfying to have a clean space it kind of motivates me to do even more I'm just returning the furniture back to its place and removing the old decor in exchange for spring inspired decor I won't go overboard with this. My living room has more of a traditional vibe, so I won't veer off too much from that. I got some bright bulb tulips. I thought this would add a touch of spring into the living room. 
and I'm changing up my usual winter throw and the cushions on the sofa as well. What a world of difference that has made. Just changing up a few items and look. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? The tulips just do the job. This is in the daytime. My curtains are open and the living room is awash with light. So there's just a freshness, a vibrancy in here. It just makes me happy. Honestly, it just gives me joy looking at this it's a freshly potted plant that I just got from the supermarket you don't need to spend so much and wow look at how the petals have opened up these flowers are so pretty This is evening time, the curtains are closed, the light is different now, it's a little bit moody but still beautiful. Those are LED candles so they are safe. And that message is so true. And here are the candles up close. And here is a close-up of the spring-inspired cushion cover and the throw as well. The colors just complement each other. I also thought I would show you this beautiful piece of art that's above the sofa. It changes with the light in the living room and the gold frame around it also complements the decor today. And how can we forget this famous kitchen corner? I've added a touch of vibrant spring color using a simple arrangement of a glass bowl full of tangerines and of course our thrifted vase style with four wild spring flowers. At the back over there, a beautiful portrait painting of Prophetess Gile from the Bible. If you know, you know. And this is the same arrangement, just with different lighting. Okay now, this segment is for the fancy schmanzy lovelies. Also, if you're celebrating Mother's Day this Sunday, Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. This is in honor of you. I was preparing for tea with a dear friend of mine who loves this kinds of stuff. And so I decided to indulge her and bring a little joy into her life. I've set out the table with a fresh table runner some beautiful roses there, a candle, English vintage cake serving plates, vintage creamer, sugar dish and teapot. Also I set out two bone china cups with two side plates and simple paper napkins. A lit candle definitely gives a nice ambience around the table and those roses are just perfect for the occasion.
so I'm just setting out the tea treats getting ready for a really nice time but making sure everything is beautiful and well thought out And here's a close-up of the vintage plate. It really is beautiful, isn't it? More treats to set out. Listen, lovelies. You've got to do these things. If you don't do them now, when will you ever do them? leave the ordinary and try the extraordinary every once in a while i promise you you won't regret it and here we are fancy bougie posh classy simple elegance call it what you will it's a treat for the senses and we all deserve it why not Notice that I also added those glasslets for the teaspoons so that there is no mess on the table. And here is another angle. Alright my lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed for sure. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Until next time, bye!